So let's continue with the with the video. So this will be like the part two. So what we are gonna do right now is we're gonna clip the raster by using the shape file. Um, so clipping the raster. So the first thing that we need to do is um, we need to get the geometry from the raster. So let's create a variable called clip bound. So we are gonna call shapefile that geometry. Okay. And so basically what I did was I just get the, uh, so as you can see the shapefile has a lot of information on it. So the only information that we are getting and we are gonna use to clip will be the geometry. So the last column. So that's why we got just the polygon and all the coordinates of to make the, the polygon. Um, so now what we are gonna do is let's create a new variable called call clip raster. And over here, let's use raster that Rio that clip function. So we are gonna clip the raster by using a geometry. So we need to specify the geometry. So it should be clip bound bound. And let's save this in memory. So true. So it's clipping. So you can see. Um, so let's call the clipped raster. So now, as you can see, this is the, the final raster that was created. And obviously, so this is like a small area. That's why the dimension of the raster, so as you can see, was like almost 22,000 cells, was just reduced to almost like 2,000, um, 2.5 thousand columns and 5.6 thousand rows. Um, sorry, it should be 2,500 and, and 5,600. So, so what we are going to do is, so let's save the raster. So what we are gonna do is, I am going to create a folder here called watershed DEM 10 meters. And I'm gonna save the raster in this folder. So this, the, the raster that we just generated. So we need to call the, the raster with double tap. So it finalized the the entire the name of the entire variable. We are gonna call Rio. And there is a function in Rio called to raster that allows us to save the raster, the, the edge array to a raster file. And over here, let's specify the location of the raster that we are gonna save. The output, so it should be the same name. So let me just copy and paste or here. And I'm gonna use the same name, T. So now if we go back to the folder, we enter to the folder, so you can see that we saved the, the clipped raster. So now let's, finally let's plot the raster. So what we, let's create a title Plotting, plotting a um, clip raster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this function over here. Um, sorry, the the codes, the codes that we um wrote to 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 plot the the raster, the entire raster. And over here, I'm gonna change this variable to clipped 
raster. Uh, sorry, so I need to delete this one over here. So now, as you can see, this is the raster. Um, what we need to do is change the figure size and I put 15. So now you can see the raster, yeah, maybe 18. You can see the raster over here. Um, zeros are located like in the coastal areas. And over here, there, there are mountains. So that's why the, um, the elevation rise. Okay, now if we want to save this image, finally, so just to finalize, so we can use the save fig uh, function from lib, And over here we need to specify the, um, the location in the um, file name. So I'm gonna use watershed DEM Ten meters, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG, and I'm gonna use the DPI of 300 to get like a really good resolution of the image. Now I need to run again the code, and if we go back to the folder, so I save the folder over here, the sorry the file over here, and you can see. It. Um, maybe if I use PowerPoint, you can see, sorry, so this will be the final image. So that's it for our today video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.